In this problem, we're told the Eiffel Tower is built of wrought iron approximately 300 meters tall. Estimate how much its height changes between January, average temperature of 2 degrees Celsius, and July, where the average temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Ignore the angles of the iron beams and treat the tower as a vertical beam. So imagine this right here is going to be uh, the Eiffel Tower, and they're telling us it's 300 meters uh, tall. And so what we're trying to find is basically how much the height is going to change. And so what we want to do is just pretend this is just length L. And so what we're trying to find is delta L, right? And delta L is just going to be the change in length. So how do we find delta L? So the way we're going to do it is by using this formula right here, which is delta L is equal to alpha times L sub zero or the initial length times delta T. So alpha is just going to be the coefficient of linear expansion. This formula is just uh, thermal expansion formula, right? Because when things heat up, they're going to expand. So yeah, all we got to do is basically just find these values. We need to know what alpha is, we need to know the initial length, and we need to know the change in temperature. So let's just start with alpha. So that's just the coefficient of linear expansion. And so it's going to be different for every single material, right? Things are going to expand uh, at different temperatures, right? So uh, alpha is basically for steel, or sorry, wrought iron, which is what the tower is made out of, is going to be equal to 12 times 10 to the minus 6. So for this, right, for wrought iron, it's going to expand with this coefficient of linear expansion. And so keep in mind the units, it's going to be inverse degrees Celsius. Then we've got the initial length, which is going to be 300 meters, right, because that's how long it is. Uh, they're telling us in the beginning. And then we're going to find the change in temperature. So they're telling us from uh, average temperature of 2 degrees Celsius to average temper, uh, temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. So the change is going to be 25 minus 2, right? The final minus the initial. So 25 minus 2 is just 23, so 23 degrees Celsius. And so now we've got everything we need, we can just plug in. So delta L equals uh, alpha, which is going to be 12 times 10 to the minus 6. Then we've got the initial length, which they tell us is 300 meters, and then times the change in temperature, which is 23. So we've got delta L, and you just got to plug this in. So take out your calculator, 12 times 10 to the minus 6. Multiply it by 300. Multiply it by 23. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get delta L is equal to 0 0.0828. And so keep in mind the units. This is in degrees Celsius right here. This one, this is inverse degrees Celsius. And this is meters. So these cancel. Uh, we have meters right here. So delta L is in meters too. So we know the change in length is going to be 0 0.0828 meters. You can convert to a different unit if you want. I'm going to leave it in meters though. And so yeah, this is going to be how much uh, the length changes or how much height, right? How much its height changes between these months. So this right here is going to be your answer and hopefully you found this useful.